Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're addressing the various parables of Jesus, which are contained in the Gospels. And this week, the parable of the rich man found in the Gospel of Luke. This one's a short parable, only listed once, but there's still a few things about it that are only clear in context. So, let's take a look. The land of a certain rich man brought forth plenty of fruits. Luke 12:16b. It's possible that this may refer to real fruit being grown. We know from the Gospels alone that both grapes and figs grew in the Jerusalem area at the time, and other parts of the Bible refer to other fruits, like pomegranates as well. However, whether this parable refers to real fruits, or is just using the term fruit to mean goods that grow on someone's land, isn't really too important. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. Luke twelve seventeen. He had so much fruit that he was having a hard time finding a place to store it all. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and will build greater, and into them will I gather all things that are grown to me, and my goods. Luke twelve eighteen. The rich man's solution to a lack of storage space for fruits is to just build bigger storage facilities. He's been given a lot of good things and has every intention of maximizing his profits by finding some way to store it until it can be sold. On the face of it, that sounds like good business sense. However, even at this point in the parable, the question of why he tears down the old barns pops into my head as I read it. Why tear down the old ones? Why not just make more? I suppose he might only have a certain amount of land to build barns on, but why waste good barns, especially since he seems to have had every intention of using them at first? The best explanation that I can think of is that the rich man wants to show off how rich he is to his neighbors. Building more barns would increase his total amount of storage, but it wouldn't be as prideful or ostentatious as deliberately tearing down a perfectly good barn just so you could put a bigger one in its place. That's the sort of action a person would only take if they had plenty of money to burn. It's wasteful, and it shows a mindset that doesn't care about resources because he thinks he has everything he needs. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thy rest, eat, drink, make good cheer. Luke twelve nineteen. This is where we see the big problem. Up to now, most of the rich man's actions could have been justified. He plants, harvests, and stores goods. However, when he suddenly has an explosion of good fortune come his way, his only thought is about how it will affect him. He deliberately hoards all the goods for himself, and his only concern is with himself and his own peace of mind. He doesn't even plan to keep working the land after this. We saw hints of his wastefulness in the last verse, and it's perfectly obvious here. If he had too much fruit, he could have given some of it away to the poor, to his friends and neighbors, let other people tend and harvest from his land if he's not going to be using it, or at least lowered the price of his wares to make life easier for the consumer, and, in the process, gain an advantage over his competitors. There are many other ways that he could have made a profit off of these fruits, like starting a brewery, which would have done him no harm and would also have benefited many other people, who would love to be employed in a job that's both simple and profitable. Instead, he focuses only on himself, and once he has his, he just quits. He could still do a lot of good, but he refuses to because he doesn't care. But God said to him, Thou fool, this night do they require thy soul of thee, and who shall those things be which thou hast provided? Luke twelve twenty. The rich man dies that very night, and other people end up benefiting from his goods in any case. If he had a family, it would probably be them, if not the other members of his tribe. All the time he spent working, thinking only of himself, produced a harvest that only other people will benefit from, precisely because he refused to do good for others with it. If he'd decided to use his goods to help others while he was alive, they would have benefited more and so would he, because he would have been doing a more virtuous thing and would have had a better relationship with God. So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. Luke twelve twenty one. We need to remember that the goods we have in this life are only temporary in any case, and are only useful insofar as they enable us to pursue heaven by doing what God has told us to do. This is the big message of the rich man who suddenly found tremendous good fortune, only to lose it all because he held on to it too tightly to really benefit from it. Next, the bad tenants. 
That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.